So in today's world, there is a lot of people using social media. There's more than 60% of the world's population. So more than one out of every two people is actually using social media. So just look around you, your family members, yourself, everybody watching this video is obviously using it. And the usage continues to grow. Look at companies like Meta that own Facebook and Instagram. They're now worth $1.2 trillion. Things like Pinterest that is worth $27 billion. Snapchat, $18 billion. And then Alphabet, of course, the big gorilla in the room that owns Google and YouTube is worth $1.8 trillion. And the usage is just going to grow over time. And of course, social media companies make a lot of money off of users like you and I, consumers of the product or content creators who create content for them. If you take a look at the charts, you can see that most of the usage right now is on YouTube and Facebook, but stuff like Instagram, X, Twitter, it's all growing. If you look at YouTube's ad revenue last year, they made almost $32 billion. And with Q3, they actually clocked in $8 billion. So the ad revenue continues to grow from social media usage as more users are onboarded on to the system. So social media has really changed our lives. It's changed the way we communicate, how we do business, how we operate within society. You could see that everybody watching this video along with all their family members are probably using social media. So there's a lot of good that comes with social media, but at the same time, there's still a lot of drawbacks. So a couple of drawbacks that comes to mind right away is number one, censorship. So notice right now online, you don't get to say what you want. And then also at the same time, you could be canceled because of something that you said or a content creator creating content that may differ in political values. The other thing is that it's all controlled by these large centralized entities. So at any time, they can come in and shut you down. They can determine what they like to do or how they can drive the platform. And you as a content creator or a content consumer have no control over that algorithm. The last thing is also from a content creator's point of view, social media platforms, they take a huge cut. If you take a look at YouTube, their ad revenue, they're actually taking 45% of the cut from the content creators. And then places like Instagram, Facebook, I believe it's around 40% and at one time it was also over 50% as well. So with all of those problems, what are we gonna do about it? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about a project that I've been looking at for a very long time. So it's the Diesel Project. It stands for Decentralized Social. It's a very new upcoming trend. Now, the idea was talked about and some projects launching back in 2017, 2018, but right now is the time where it's taking center stage. So if we take a look at this project right here, it says the social layer of crypto has arrived. I'm gonna tell you all about the project today. Now, before we get started, remember that none of this is financial advice okay so this is just for information and educational purposes the crypto market is extremely volatile and over 90 percent of people who invest in the crypto market actually lose their money so i want you guys to do your due diligence and research before you get into any project Furthermore, I am not sponsored by Diesel in any way. I do not have a bag in Diesel. I will always disclose if I have a bag in a project. So these are my raw thoughts on this project. So if you take a look at this project right over here, I'm just gonna jump right into the chart. So right now, Diesel is trading at 39.77, so almost at 40 bucks. But if we take a look at the chart, back in 2021, right, when they launched, you know, the price went up and down, but at its height, it touched almost $160, okay? So right now it is only trading at 25% of where it touched its all time high. And of course during the bear market when everything else crashed, it was actually down at seven, eight dollars for a while. So you could have bought this thing under ten dollars, okay? But of course, during the bear market with the FTX collapse and with the entire crypto market, you know, with the Fed's raising interest rate, everything was spiraling downhill. So today I'm gonna talk about why this project is a serious contender in the upcoming bull market. So first off, what is Diesel? Diesel stands for Decentralized Social. So it's a newer layer one blockchain designed for social media. Now, some of you may ask, why do we need another blockchain for social media when we have things like Ethereum, we have Solana, we have Polygon. So those traditional blockchains, they were designed for more DeFi transaction. They were not designed for data heavy storage transaction. So when you go on social media, remember what you're doing. You're liking, you're commenting, you're sharing, and all of this gets stored as you interact with the community all the way back to 2019, 18, 17. So the traditional blockchains were not designed for heavy data storage, whereas this new blockchain, Diesel, is designed as an infinite state blockchain. Now we're gonna talk about that, but jumping in right away, just looking at the cost of a transaction. So I'm just gonna come right over here. You can see that the cost of storing 200 characters, so a tweet on X or Twitter, 
on diesel, it actually costs one of a ten thousandth of a penny. Okay, so it's extremely cheap. Whereas on Cardano, it's fifteen cents. On Avex, it's twenty cents. On Solana, it's twenty-seven cents. On Polygon, it's forty-five. And then on Ethereum, it is almost seventy-eight, seventy-nine dollars. So you can see that on those traditional blockchain it would not be sustainable at that rate. And if you do the calculation and math, if you look at Solana, it's about 16,000 times more expensive. And then something like Ethereum is 5 million times more expensive to share that tweet, okay, to store that tweet. So you can see right away, it is not scalable using our traditional blockchains. You may wonder, is this just testnet data and marketing gimmick that this company is putting out? But actually, if you go onto their block explorer and if you take a look right over here, their block explorer shows that data that you want to see as you're growing any type of network or any type of new layer one chain. So they have about 1.9 million transactions. So 115,000 monthly users. Okay, that's a lot of people. And if you take a closer look, I'm just going to come right in here. Their total wallets right now is already at 3 million wallets and it continues to grow. Number of transactions, 95 million. And then look at this current fee, right? This is a minuscule compared to every other blockchain, right? now in terms of transaction fee. So if you thought Solana was cheap, or if you thought that Polygon, you know, Arbitrum, all of those layer twos were cheap, Diesel is running at a much lower transaction fee. So Diesel is able to accomplish all this with their infinite state blockchain, and they also rolled out their new consensus mechanism. This revolution proof of stake consensus mechanism that will improve the entire network experience from the validators to the security of the network, allowing them to execute these transactions. It also results in a very low finality time of one second. So that's really, really fast. And then also the APY on Diesel right now is actually 20%. So it's actually quite attractive for people to stake their diesel. So right now, Diesel has done a lot. They've blown across this 85 million transaction, right? Their wallets, we see that they have actually 3 million wallets. They've done more than $2 billion of total volumes, and content creators have already been earning roughly $30 million on Diesel already. So the network is active and live right now. And there's already a ton of apps being developed on Diesel right now. So if you take a look at some of the more prominent app like Diamond, which is our version of Twitter and, and X right over here. So they're already starting to develop different types of apps on Diesel. Their next app right over here, I'm just gonna come back. You can see it's open fund. It's a pretty cool app. You can use it in order to raise money for your projects, okay? So there's actually a lot of apps and applications being developed on Diesel as we talk right now. And like we said before, some of the most attractive features for Diesel bringing content creators to their system is that it is censorship resistance. You own your own content and you could start earning right away. So those are the positives that starts to draw people into this new layer one, you know, social media platform. And just a bit about the team, this team is an all-star team. It's led by Nader al Naji. So if you don't know about him, I would encourage you to check out his bio. He's worked on big things like the Basis Protocol, and he's also a ex-Google member as well. If you take a look at the rest of the team, we won't go through all of them today, but it really is a team of Silicon Valley all-stars, developers, creators, and alike. And the belief in the founders is backed up by the VC funders who actually fund them. If you just take a look right here, they're all tier one VCs, right? They funded this with $200 million. So this project already has a huge amount of funds, right? It's backed up by people like Sequoia, you know, A16Z, Andreas and Horowitz, Social Capital, Polychain Capital, you know, Coinbase Ventures, Pantera. These are all the major VC funds that fund almost every single app that you are using right now. So there's already a lot of money behind these guys and they hold a big treasury. So in their treasury, there's still about 100 million left. Most of that is in, you know, stable coins, USDT, USDC, and Bitcoin. So people do not have to worry about the fluctuation of the diesel token itself in terms of the treasury. So they have a really long runway in order to operate with. The tokenomics is one of the most fair tokenomics and attractive features about this project and why I'm looking at it. If you take a look right over here, you can see the max on the total supply is 10.8 million. Right now, circulating supply is already 10.5 million. What that means is that that price right now 97% of tokens is in circulation and you're not gonna get dumped on by some VC or there's some major unlocking that's coming up that's gonna dilute you heavy in this project. 
And NATO went on to comment on the tokenomics. If you take a look at his post on X, I think it's pretty clear. It talks about how there's no equity, right? There's no VC firm equity and, you know, huge dumping that's going to happen on you. It's just coins and code, okay? That's one thing that I really like that, you know, he goes on to explain about it. All tokens are liquid, no funky unlocks. We talked about that 97% of it. So there's a fixed supply of 10.8 million, a deflationary mechanism in the long term. And then he goes on to explain that nobody got their coins for free, unlike other projects where there was airdrops, you know, and, and people got dumped into the oblivion, right? Uh, Diesel, nobody got their coins for free and everybody had to purchase their coin because he wanted to make sure that everybody had some skin in the game. So I do like that from him. Now, a criticism that a lot of people have is that about 2 million tokens went to the team and, and a lot of it actually went to the founder. But if you take a look at all of the projects within this industry, right, like 10, 15, 20%, that is a very normal standard. So yes, that is a big allocation to the founder, but find me a project where the founders did not get a big allocation within the recent years, right, within the recent cycles, usually the team has at least a 15, 20% allocation. And if you just take a look at our traditional companies when you're raising equity, most founders would like to keep at least 20% or more. So fair criticism of him and something to bring up and something to think about. But right now, 97% of the tokens are live in circulation. Besides the ongoing growth within the ecosystem in terms of users, wallets, a lot of applications being developed, one particular application I just wanted to shine a little bit light on is their new Focus application. So if you just go to Focus XYZ, you'll be able to learn all about this project. It's called the Crypto Social Network, okay? So what Focus does is it actually rewards content creators, people who are using, you know, Instagram, X, um, you know, YouTube, TikTok, OnlyFans, all of those. What happens is that they're doing their new social Airdrop. So as content creators or yourself, if you're able to connect to there, you're actually being rewarded for sort of the number of followers you have and the social influence that you have. And the more you post, the more points that you get and the more tokens that you get. Right now, if you just go right over to focus right over here, okay, you could see there's a big countdown. So actually what they're doing is that they're actually raising uh, 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 money for the focus tokens right over here. So right now you can actually reserve your spot and they actually have a bonus system because you can reserve it with any type of currency, okay? Like if you want to reserve it with BTC, ETH, you know, USDT, USDC, you get a proportion of focus tokens that when you launch, there's actually a bonus, an 85% bonus right now. And every time this big counter countdown, you know, the bonus is less and less. And if I take a look at the bonus right over here, this is sort of when they started in uh, January 11th, there was a 100% bonus, and then it goes down by 5%. So we're roughly here right now on February 8th, February 9th, and then it continues to go down by 5%, okay? And you can see that the bonus is over time until they actually launch their focus token. And, you know, to me, this is unbelievable. They've already raised almost $80 million. You can see the top person right over here, Energetic EMU39 has reserved roughly over $5 million. And if you go down, you can see that there are plenty of six figures, people who are reserving six figures, and the list goes on and on. Okay, so that's just something to check out. Uh, I think that's a good way of growing their ecosystem because now they're actually rewarding content creators. Whether it's big, small content creators, you actually have access and own your own material. So I think that that is an interesting project to check out on Diesel. And finally, just getting back to the charts and seeing where is a good entry for this project. Take a look at the big picture, right? Right now, this thing is still down about 75%. It's starting to pick up right over here. If you take a look back at the one year chart, right through here, it's starting to grow quite a bit. And then in the past month, it's been trading up and down. So right now, the market cap is 335 million, roughly around there. It got to a billion in terms of its last cycle run. How big do you think that this can go in this market? If we we have a true Bitcoin bull market cycle. I think that this thing will easily do a 10x from here, okay? It's got very few competitors that are competing with it. It's gained traction. You know, it's already got 3 million wallets on there and there's a good usage of activity and they're actually executing real live transactions. We're not talking about test transaction or test net that's going to come in three, five years. You know those projects that are always promising that they're going to launch, but they never launch. Uh, but here's an actual project, okay? So 
because it's got lower competition, I think that it can still do a 10x from here. It can get to $3 billion or more, even a significant more amount, $3 billion, $5 billion. So a 20x from here would give it a sort of $6 billion market cap. But in a bull market, anything can happen. And you can see that Bitcoin has been very resistant, has been very strong. The ETFs have sort of uh, absorbed all of the selling pressure from Grayscale. And with everything that's coming in terms of the Bitcoin having, you know, interest rates being being lowered hopefully by the Federal Reserves we come into a bull market in the end of 2024 2025 when it really starts to go into that really hardcore bull market run so I think that diesel is good not investment advice but it's a solid play in terms of looking for something else right right now in crypto it's all about narratives it's about game fi it's about memes it's social fi it's gamble fi it's AI so you got to be looking at the hot narratives and then who the key players are in those sectors so I think that this is a great project and something to really consider. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this content. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you during the next time.